I'm trying something a little different this time. We're going to do the bumpers for this week in cinematic mode. Anyway, it's time for this week with Big C. So I did want to apologize in advance to everybody um, that this video is coming out a bit later than I would have liked. I didn't have a whole lot of free time over the past weekend. Uh, I was in St. Pete. I wanted to spend time with my brothers as well as play Pokemon. And then when I got home, I had to work. And when I wasn't working, I wasn't feeling particularly well. So editing was not my top priority. Um, but hey, we're working on it. We got it out finally. and. Uh, we should be able to catch up and get back to the regular schedule before the end of the week, so that's good. Anyway, time for a short, but I guess kind of eventful recap where I talk about what happened over the past couple weeks. Hey everybody, it is Wednesday and I just finished up a killer day at work. I uh, had another very, very strong day, so pretty happy with my performance. Uh, it's been good stuff, so. Not a whole lot to report right now. Uh, my back is giving me some issues. I don't know why or what I did to cause it, but that's fun. Um, but other than that, like, it's been a pretty quiet week. Uh, not much really going on. Uh, tomorrow, I'm just going to stay home all day, uh, doing some stuff around the apartment, probably editing some videos, maybe playing some games. Um, but I'm not really going to go out anywhere. And then Friday, I do have some plans to go out and do stuff. So we'll see if those happen. But uh, yeah, there's just not a whole lot to report this week, unfortunately. Next week's going to be much more interesting because, of course, I will be in St. Petersburg for a good chunk of the week uh, for Thanksgiving. So that's going to be fun. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan right now. If anything comes up, I'll be happy to share it. But uh, yeah, nothing really going on right now. All right, so I wanted to share my first impressions of Pokemon Violet. Uh, I've been playing it for a few hours now. And uh, overall, now of course we'll get to the big elephant in the room, but overall I enjoy it. I think it's a well done game. I think the changes that they made were really smart. It's very user friendly. Um, the main thing that they did that I really like um, is the let's go feature it's pretty awesome because essentially it allows you to power level without having to spend forever just killing random pokemon out in the wild you can just send your your first pokemon out and they'll do it for you automatically it's pretty great especially if you like run into a pack of random wild pokemon just let your your first one go wild and uh he'll get you some good level of points for all your team it's pretty nice um it's fun. I like the, the concept of like, you can kind of wander the world, do what you want. Um, it definitely is more open and more unique than the typical Pokemon game. So I appreciate all that. Of course, the big thing, which everybody's talking about, and I've, I've got to address it here, is the performance. The performance is not good. Um, I freely admit the... I don't know if it's the Switch or Game Freak optimizing the game or both, probably both. It just really struggles to run on the Switch. And I'm running on, I'm using an OLED and I've played mostly docked. Um, and it, it, it struggles. When you're walking through the town, you see people walking around, but like they're walking at like two frames a second. And, uh, there's a lot of graphic pop in, a lot of slowdowns. It needed some more time in the oven. Um, now, hopefully, some of it can be fixed with a patch, but there was definitely some technical hiccups in this game, and there still are. So, hopefully, uh, Game Freak and Nintendo will be able to patch it to make it run a little better. Although, we were hoping for the same thing with Legends Arceus, and that runs well enough. This one, I think, it needs to be addressed because it's it runs worse than Legends Arceus. And I feel that game was a little more impressive in, in some respects. So, we'll see. But technical hiccups aside, I think it's a good game. 
I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Um, so yeah, those are my first impressions of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Hey everybody, it is Monday and uh, last night there was some very interesting news. Now granted to be fair, it doesn't really apply to me anymore, but it's still interesting nonetheless. Um, Disney apparently let Bob Chapek, their CEO, go and brought back Bob Iger. Very interesting. Um, I'm not sure what prompted it so urgently, but I know they, uh, they had some issues with their latest earnings report. So maybe it was so bad that prompted them to, uh, make a change. Either way, I think it's a good thing. Um, Chapek's reign as CEO is basically just going to be remembered as what has caused all goodwill people had with Disney to kind of get destroyed. So hopefully Iger, um, will hopefully very quickly start undoing a lot of the things that Chapek did and, um, put more emphasis on giving the company more credibility. Again, doesn't really apply to me because I work for a rival company now, but it's interesting to see. So I'm glad it happened. And I'm glad for all my friends who still work for Disney, um, that hopefully they've got some good things coming in their future. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in that front. Uh, anyway, today is the last day of the month for work. Um, yesterday I had a really bad day, unfortunately, but today is the last day of the month. So I'm hoping I can uh, put up some good numbers and, uh, and finish the month off strong. I already have had a very, very good month. So even with a bad day yesterday, I'm still in good spot. Um, and then tomorrow after I get off work at 730, I'm going back to St. Petersburg, uh, where I'll be spending the rest of the week with my family until I have to work again on Saturday. So that's going to be fun. So yes, we will do some clips there. Um, yeah, so that's good stuff. So yeah, I'm just uh, getting ready to start work and uh, we'll see how well today goes. Hopefully better than yesterday. Hey everybody, it is Friday, also known as Black Friday. Um, I'm back home from my trip to St. Pete. It was an interesting trip. Um, I was there for basically three days from Wednesday to today. Um, I did not sleep well at all because A, I was on an air mattress. B, I had back and knee issues. <laughs> so attempting to find a position where I could sleep was very difficult. So I'm very much looking forward to being back in my own room because I'll probably be able to fall asleep pretty easily tonight which is great. And I'm probably going to go to bed early, honestly, because I'm very tired. Maybe slept two, three hours most nights. So very tired. Um, but it was a good time. Um, I was just really thankful that I was able to spend some more time with my brothers, with my dad, um, who have gone through a lot this year, especially my dad with his health issues. So I'm thankful that I was able to spend time with him and, and, uh, we had a delicious meal. Um, I didn't want to document any of it just because, again, I wanted to spend time focusing on my family. Um, but we had a ham that my brother kind of sort of worked on. Um, it was an apple cider glazed ham. It was pretty good. A little bit of a departure from turkey, but that's because we were worried my dad would not be able to do the turkey like he normally does. So we went with ham, which was a little bit easier. <clears throat> we did have some from scratch mac and cheese, which was fantastic. We also had stuffing, twice baked potatoes, and Brussels sprouts, and then dessert a key lime pie. Uh, so it was a, a little bit of a different style of Thanksgiving than we normally do, but I think it was delicious. I think we had a good time. We did end up playing um, Betrayal on House of the Hill after, which it was my first time actually playing the game. It was really fun. Uh, my dad was the traitor, so that was an interesting experience. But uh, we had a good time. It was uh, it was great. I did beat Pokemon as well, so I'm proud of that accomplishment. Of course, both my brothers had it. Uh, Zach actually bought it during our trip while we were there, so we were playing a lot of Pokemon together. It was a good time, so I'm glad we got to do it. Um, yeah, so it was a great Thanksgiving, and uh, now back to regular life for a week before my birthday weekend, which that's going to be a blast. So we'll see how it goes. So one thing I forgot to talk about on my Black Friday Thanksgiving review are what I picked up for Black Friday. I didn't get a whole lot that wasn't gaming or Christmas present related. So rather than doing an episode of the haul, I'm just going to include it here. That's kind of an add on. 
The main thing that I got was these AirPods Pro 2s. And the main reason why I got them, and of course I found out later that it was kind of a mistake, but maybe not. My AirPods Pro, which I got in 2020, have developed some sort of weird buzzing in the left earbud. And it it's noticeable. As long as you're listening to something like music, it's not too bad, but anytime it goes like kind of quiet, you can definitely hear it. So I decided, well, if I'm gonna have to replace them anyway, I might as well get the new ones. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, they were on sale for 200 bucks, so not too bad. Um, but I found out shortly after I ordered them that apparently the buzzing is a known issue. And all I have to do is go to my nearest Apple store, which is the Florida mall. I can bring my old AirPods and Apple will swap them out because it is a defect. I'm still gonna do that because I'll have a better working backup pair of AirPods, but I'm still gonna keep the, the new ones just cause I think they are better overall. And they definitely sound a little bit better. So I'm pretty happy with the new ones. The other non-gaming thing and non-Christmas present thing that I ordered, I don't know when it's coming in. Um, I ordered a 4K Blu-ray of Everything Everywhere All at Once, which right now is still my favorite movie of 2022. Uh, right now, Amazon listed is coming in sometime in January. I doubt that's going to stick. It'll probably come in sooner, but that's what it says right now. Uh, I only paid 10 bucks for that, so pretty happy with it. But I, I had to pick it up. It's a 4K copy of my favorite movie of the year so far. So you know I had to grab it. But that's that's it in terms of non-gaming or non-Christmas present stuff. Didn't really do a whole lot besides those. But I mean, I did pick up a big item and some AirPods, so. But yeah, um, that's my Black Friday shopping. And now back to me for the next part of This Week with Dixie. Now it's time for a preview of an upcoming video. This should be pretty fun. Uh, so take a look and see what is coming out. Well, Halloween is officially over. So you know what that means. Bring on Christmas, baby. And uh, Oreo has already brought in the holiday season with a brand new flavor of Oreos that I'm honestly very excited to try. We have holiday snickerdoodle Oreos with holiday sprinkles. Let's try these out to kick off Holly Jolly Holiday 2022. That's gonna do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. A couple quick notes before we wrap up today's episode. First off, um, we are releasing a preview video on the Big C TV Pokemon channel. So the channel is not officially launching until early next year, but I did film a special Pokemon opening with Zach and Greg that we're gonna release as the first video on that channel. Uh, it should be coming out in the next week or so. I have to edit it still, but it's gonna kind of give you an idea of the kind of content we're gonna release on that channel more regularly. So be on the lookout. I will post a link in the description um, of the Big CTV Pokemon channel if you want to take a look and subscribe. There's nothing on it right now, but uh, very shortly we'll have that preview video. And of course, I will do a post in this and the plays channel um, when that video is live. So that way you can go check it out if you are a fan of our Pokemon content. Also, uh, Holly Jolly Holiday is going to be kicking off now. Uh, I wanted to start a little bit sooner. I don't have a ton of content for it right now, but we want to start uh, doing the holiday stuff now. So be on the lookout for that. And of course, we got some other big classic Big CTV events coming up, including Free Birthday Fest 2022. Yes, that's going to be coming up soon. And of course, the Yearies. I'm working on the presenter lineup for this year. Um, have not finalized it yet, but I'm going to try to get uh, you know some familiar faces and maybe some new ones to be presenters for the Yearies. So that should be fun. Um, but that will air on Christmas Eve, like it has the last two years. Anyway, new videos on this channel are three days a week until the end of 2022. So hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. I'll see you in a couple weeks on the next episode of This Week with Big C. Bye-bye.